Hi there, this is Pam. I haven't done a video for a very long time, but I thought I would start back with doing a Back to Basics um, little series on uh, YouTube here. So I'm not going to do anything fancy, um, basic stamping, because when I first started stamping a long time ago, 12, 15 years ago, um, all I had was stamps. Uh, and paper and ink. So that's what I'm going to start with um, doing this back to basics kind of series. Um, basic stamping with basic supplies. So um, the stamps I'm using today um, are from Unity Stamp Company and it's this kit that I'm using here. Um, this is a good kit I think to start um, with for beginners because it's pretty much a solid image um, there's no coloring, so you don't need markers, you don't need uh, alcohol markers, you just need your ink and your paper. But any any uh, solid image um, would be good to start with. Um, you can make just as nice cards um, with those types of images. And then also a sentiment. It's not necessary to have a sentiment on um, the front of your cards. A lot of mine don't. I put it either on the inside or I just write a note um, on the inside of it. Um, but Unity has these sentiment kits that come out every month. This one happens to be from January um, of last year. Um, but there's lots of sentiments um, in each kit and it's they're pretty large stamps. Some are smaller, some are bigger. Um, so I will put a sentiment um, on the front of it because when I started stamping, I did have um, a few. So uh, this is my basic, um, your basic A2 card base. I took a piece of 8.5 by 11 card stock because that's what they come in. Um, and I cut it in half, the long length. So this is 4 and a quarter by 11. Um, and it's scored at uh, 5.5. It's right in the center. So that makes my card base. And then for this, um, the top layering piece, I cut that at five inches by three and three quarters. So it gives a nice border all the way around uh, the card base. So we're gonna stamp on this. And there's lots and lots of inks. Uh, when I first started stamping, all I had was uh, pigment inks. And it was funny because I thought there was something wrong with the ink because it wouldn't dry. So yeah, pigment in inks take um, quite a while to dry. So um, if you're new to stamping, maybe don't buy those. Um, I'm going to use uh, Distress Ink. This is um, Ground Espresso. This is just an ink that's ready to available. Uh, lots of people use them. But really, any ink that you have is going to work. So um, just ink up your stamp. I always rub it around first and then um, ink away and the solid images um, this one's not too bad because the solid parts of it are pretty small um, but sometimes if you don't have a good ink pad and you have a solid stamped image um, you're not going to get a good impression now pigment inks will always give you a, a good impression just because they're a thick they, they are a very thick ink um, personally, right now, I don't have any pigment inks anymore. Um, I do have a hybrid ink, which is a dye ink and pigment ink blend. Um, those do work good, um, also for solid images. But for now, I'm just going to use this little one. And this is the ink cube. They do come in a, a larger uh, full size, but I don't need the full sized ones. So I just got the little ones. So that looks pretty good. Um, inking that up. It takes a little longer because that ink pad is so small. And then we'll get our paper. And I'm going to offset this a little bit because I have my sentiment here that I'm going to stamp in the corner. Um, so I'm going to stamp this um, over off to this side so I have room for my uh, sentiment. I'm going to push down a little bit harder than I usually do. Um, just because this is a bigger stamp and it's the solid image. And if you don't get a good impression, then that's fine. This is a handmade card. Um, you're going to have imperfections. So see, that's pretty good. It does have a little bit um, a lighter 
um, area there, but I'm not worried about it. All right, so this is the little stem that comes in this set. Um, I'm just going to put it um, back on this block. And I'm going to stamp that on there. And we'll have a cute little card. Um, no embellishments needed. I said when I first started stamping, I had I didn't have anything. Of course, back then they don't have all the cute stuff that they have now. But um, basic supplies. I had pretty much nothing. No washi tapes. No embossing powders. No nothing. All right. So there's the basic your basic image there. And then we're going to get the uh, sentiment next. And it's um, going to be stamped in the same ink. And I know I'm upside down for you, but I hope that's all right. And we're going to put that just right in the corner. And hold it down just a little bit. You do want your sentiment to look a little bit. Now, yeah, good. Perfect. So there is a simple stamped image, one color. Uh, the sentiment's one color. Um, you could stamp the sentiment if you would want in a different color. But this is a my back to basics. Uh, video so one color is perfect and then tape runners there's loads and loads and loads of tape runners I think mine is actually about empty um, on, on mine but any tape runner will work or glue if you have liquid glue put that on there as well and then get your card base and line up your borders so you're fairly even around the edge. And that's it. You have a cute, simple, uh, stamped card, handmade. Um, and of course, you can always write whatever you want on the inside. There's lots of space for that. So uh, I hope you like this Back to Basics uh, series that I'm going to do. Perfect for beginners. Um, every day there are loads of new stampers, so uh, I just thought that they would like to see how easy it is that you can make a cute card with very minimal supplies. Thanks for watching. Bye.